Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's physics lessons. In today's lesson we'll be learning about center of mass from the forces topic of GCSE combined science and GCSE physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to describe what center of mass means, and how to find the center of mass of regular and irregular shapes. First of all you should remember that in everyday life we use the words mass and weight to mean the same thing. However, in physics there's an important difference between them. Mass is the amount of matter in an object, measured in kilograms. Weight is the force acting on an object due to gravity, measured in newtons. The center of mass of an object is the point where all the mass of the object is concentrated. So to balance any object, like this ruler, you need to place your finger at its center of mass. To locate the center of mass of a regular shaped object like a flat circle or square, we need to draw lines of symmetry. The position where the lines of symmetry cross is the center of mass of the shape. Draw these shapes and mark on at least two lines of symmetry for each. Pause the lesson and restart when you're ready to carry on. The position where the lines of symmetry cross is the center of mass of the shape. I've only marked two lines of symmetry for each shape, but there are many more, and they all go through the same point. If you have an irregular shape the process to find the center of mass is a bit different. First you need to make a hole near the edge of the shape and hang it on a large pin held in a retort stand. It's important that the shape is able to move freely on the pin. Next hang a plumb line from the pin alongside the shape. A plumb line is just a weight on a string which hangs vertically from the pin. Being careful not to move anything, mark a line on the shape along the plumb line. Now repeat the process using a hole in a different position on the shape, as shown. Once you've drawn the second line, where the lines cross marks the position of the center of mass of the shape. To balance a basketball on your finger, the center of mass of the ball must be in line with your finger. In a similar way, to balance on one foot, this lady's center of mass must be directly above her foot. In both cases, if the line along the center of mass moves slightly, the ball will fall, and the lady will lose her balance. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and subscribe to see future lessons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.